White fragility is based on this notion that white people in North America live in a social environment that protects and insulates them from race-based stress. This is a word. This is a word. To be more specific, white fragility is a state in which even a minimum amount of racial stress becomes intolerable, triggering a range of defensive moves. <laughs> These moves include the outward display of emotions such as anger, fear, and guilt, and behaviors such as argumentation, silence, and leaving the stress-inducing situation. So. Robin D'Angelo outlines in her essay about white fragility certain factors that she says inculcate white fragility, and they are first and foremost segregation. Regardless of the fact that we believe we live in an integrated society, most white people grow up in situations where they rarely ever have to encounter someone of another race. Robin D'Angelo also talks about this idea of universality and that people feel that we should all be the same and that we should all be treated the same. So why should we talk about people in terms of their race or their gender or any other type of social grouping? Because we're, you know, we should all be the same. Unfortunately, that all the same that we should be is a sameness that's based on the dominant culture ide ideology. The other side of universality is this idea of individualism. I should be treated as an individual regardless of what has happened in the past or what other people do. I'm an individual. Individualism has a way of erasing the history and hiding the ways in which wealth has been distributed and accumulated over generations to benefit specifically white whites today. Um, again, and I'm reading this, uh, you know, from uh, as notes from from Robin D'Angelo's essay. There's also a white insistence on racial comfort that Robin D'Angelo addresses, which ensures that racism will not be faced. And now, if it dis discomfort becomes, you know, a valid reason not to discuss race, when does race get discussed? Robin D'Angelo also talks about the arrogance that comes from white people when it comes to race. White people, although they may never have had a meaningful discussion or even given serious thought to the notion of race or racial inequity or racism, may find themselves in situations um, speaking with great authority on the subject. Another thing that she talks about is racial belonging, specifically in the US. To be white is to be American. When one says, I'm an American, they're talking about being someone of, say, European descent. Whereas a person from European descent is also someone who immigrated to this country from wherever they came from, right? Unless you're someone who's an indigenous person, and we don't know, maybe even the people we consider indigenous came here from somewhere else. Um, but uh, in terms of being inherently American, uh, to be that in this country means to be white. Uh, otherwise, you're African-American or Chinese-American. Interestingly, groups like Italian-Americans and Irish-Americans are groups that, when they first came to this country, were not considered white. They had to actually earn their, their whiteness. They had to have that whiteness bestowed on them, which I've talked about in other, in other videos. Um, she talks about the psychic freedom that comes with whiteness um, in terms of race, which really, and, and the idea is that race is something that resides in other people. You know, they have race, we just are. And then finally, she talks about the positive messaging, constant positive messaging that white people receive about themselves and their identities versus the constant negative messaging that is received by non-white people. So um, these factors all come together. They reinforce white privilege and this accustomed racial comfort. And as a result, whites often will display racial arrogance by denying, debating, trivializing racism or critical thought regarding racial conflict. Um, and so I encourage people to explore Robin D'Angelo's work. Please ex explore it yourself. And then come back and let me know in the comments what you think about Robin D'Angelo and the concept of white fragility, which points you agree with, which points you may disagree with. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off.
Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself.